Welcome back. We now come to problem six for the test four review of the physics boot camp. Problem six says, what is the magnitude and direction of the electric field at the point three zero meters? Uh, and it gives you the scenario. There's a charge of two times ten to the minus four coulombs at zero zero meters. So at the origin, zero zero, there's a charge of <clears throat> positive two times ten to the minus four coulombs. So this Q here. So that's uh, at the origin, and at the charge of negative four times ten to the minus four at five zero. So way over here, five zero meters, there is a negative charge here, negative Q, and its charge is negative four times ten to the minus four coulombs. Uh, we want to know what is the electric field created at this point, three zero, at this point in space due to those charges. Okay. We also want to know what is the total potential created at that point, and we also want to know what is the potential energy of the two original charges, what is the potential energy of the system. So this problem illustrates different kinds of questions that can be asked about a two-charge system. So if I want to know the electrical field there, I argue that the electric field of a positive charge moves away from it, so this, since this is a positive charge, the electric field emanates away from positive charges. We can call that E1. We can call this the first charge. We can call this one E2, uh, uh, electric field uh, charge two. Now, electric field of negative charges comes towards them, okay? So positive charges have electric field going away from them, and negative charges have electric field going towards them. So it's very important that you keep that directional. Um, <clears throat> so it is very important that you keep that direction in mind. Okay. So the electric field of the negative Q it is towards it E two. Now notice both of the two electric fields are in the same direction, right? Positive charge away from it, negative towards it. So you actually end up adding the two electric fields, right? The total electric field at that location is the sum of the two, E1 plus E2. The total electric field created by charge 1 is KQ1 over R1 squared plus KQ2 over R2 squared. Now, when I'm going to add the two electric fields, I'm going to take the absolute value, right? Why? Because since I know both of them are to the right, I'm not going to put a negative charge here, okay? I've already taken care of its direction due to the fact that I know it's to the right. So now I put the, the K is 9 times 10 to the 9th. The charge uh, Q1, that's going to be 2 times 10 to the uh, minus 4. This distance from here to here is 3 meters, so you square that. And then you add to that the K of uh, the, uh, the Coulomb's law, 9 times 10 to the 9th. And then Q2 is the charge of that. Again, put its absolute value. 4 times 10 to the minus 4 divided by its distance. The distance from there to there is 2 meters, 2 squared. And then what do you get there? Your total electrical field is going to be what? Well, 10 to the 9th, 10 to the minus 4 is 10 to the 5th. And then I have here 9 cancels 9. So you have 2 times 10 to the 5th plus, then what happens here? This 4 cancels this 4. And then you just end up getting 9 times 10 to the 5th. 9 times 10 to the 5th. So what is that equal to? 2 times 10 to the 5th plus 9 times 10 to the 5th, that's 11 times 10 to the 5th. So what is that? Uh, 1, 1. Uh, then you can have a 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. 1 million, 100,000 newtons per coulomb. Or if you want to leave it in scientific notation, you can say 1.1 times 10 to the 6th newton per coulomb. Okay, and that is the answer. So 
The electric field answer is 1.1 times 10 to the 6 Newton per Coulomb. What's the direction? The direction is to the right. To the right. What if they had asked the electrical field at the point, let's say, uh, 7, 0, right here? 7, 0. What would have happened? Well, the electrical field of the positive charge would be away. Okay? So let's see how that would change it. Let's put this in red here. This is positive, away, E1. And then the electrical field of the negative charge would be what? Towards it, right? So that would be E2. So what's going to happen? You're going to have to subtract the two. E1 minus E2, right? So uh, you're going to do uh, E1 minus the absolute value of that. So let's see what changes here. 9 times 10 to the 9, 2 times 10 to the minus 4. Uh, what do I put on the bottom here? So now from 0 to 7, so that's uh, 7 meters. I do 7 squared. And then what happens here? I put negative. Uh, and then this one is still 2, right? Because it's 2 meters to the right of this. So you have still 2. So how does the answer change? So the only answer that changes is the left one. You have 9 times 2 is 18. 18 over 49, you have 18 over 49 times 10 to the fifth, minus, so you got minus, and then that one stays nine, um, 9 times 10 to the fifth. So what's the total electric field? Well, what's going to end up happening is 18 over 49, 18 divided by 49, that gives you only 0.36. And then you subtract from that 9, you get negative 8.63. So if I just uh, factor out the 10 to the fifth, 18 over 49 minus 9, it gives you negative 8.63 times 10 to the fifth Newton per Coulomb. Okay? Whereas the answer to the middle was to the right, the electrical field in the middle was really strong. It was 11 times 10 to the fifth. Uh, on the right, they kind of cancel each other. Which one wins? The, the left one wins because the right one is very weak. And uh, they kind of, uh, by canceling each other, the electric field ends up being weaker. Now you can see how you have to take care of those directions, whether it be over here, whether it be over here, whether it be on this side, and you can try different kind of variations of that problem. Now, how would you answer the next one? What is the total potential at that point? Now, with potential, you don't have to worry about direction. You just have to worry about magnitude because the potential is a scalar. Okay? So, how do you do the potential? So, with potential, all you have to say is... Okay? The 3, 0. The positive charge creates a positive potential there. And the negative charge creates a negative potential, okay? So negative V2. So you basically just add those two potentials. V total equals V1 plus V2, but V2 is going to end up becoming negative because the charge is negative. So V total is equal to KQ1 over R1 plus KQ2 over R2. This time, I have to put the actual charge, the fact that it's negative, it causes the potential to be negative. Okay? So V total comes out to be 9 times 10 to the 9th. And then Q1 is uh, 2 times 10 to the minus 4 over 3 meters plus 9 times 10 to the 9th. And then this one is going to be what? Uh, negative 4 times 10 to the minus 4 over 2 meters. So one of the other differences is that you're not squaring the distance. The electric field, you are squaring the distance. With the, um, with the potential, you are not squaring them. And the other difference is that you are actually including the charge inside of your equation to account for the fact that it's negative.